Radiators with the title track from their new album, Up For Grabs. Police, we've got Meatloaf, um, Ice House, Marsha Hines, heaps of people. A great new clip from Devo, which you'll just love. But first of all, here are the countdown chart busters. This week, Pat Benatar is running hot and cold with fire and ice, busting in at 29. Chart busting in Adelaide, Christopher Cross is set to go here with the number one hit in America, Arthur's Theme.
Marsha Hines with her new single, What a Bitch is Love. From police and this is off an album that's already shipped platinum and the song has been picked up by every rock station across Australia police every little thing she does is magic
police, and everything she does is magic. Billy Thorpe's back. Here he is with his new single, Just The Way I Like It. new album coming out soon which is called Defying Gravity. They're currently on tour so don't miss them. This is their new single which is just great. Free the Sailor. The Shirt. <laughs>
Shrubs and Free the Sailor coming up on Countdown. We've got Cliff Richard, Devo, and Ice House. And now let's... Now, if you thought Joan Louie was really good on roller skates, you have a look at Cliff Richard and his new clip. This is great. This album, maybe. maybe. You don't know. That's why you've heard me Words can cut so deep They just get in the way I thought you were so perfect And you thought I'd stay forever to the left. OK, well, it's not a matter of doing the time warp anymore. It's now a matter of doing shock treatment, which is actually the follow-up film to uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, the actual fact is that uh, it's all just about Brad and Janet returning to Denton. They're happily married. They go into a quiz show, and a television quiz show, and it's run by a blind television quiz master who uh, the part is played by Barry Humphreys. The Brad and Janet are not the original characters in the film. Uh, you'll see Riff Raff, You'll see Columbia, Magenta, all the ones that played it in, in, in Rocky Horror and the narrator, they all play different roles. The soundtrack is excellent. Let's have a look at it. Here it is, Shock Treatment. You need a bit of Ooh, shock treatment. Get to jumping like a real life wire. Need a bit of Ooh, shock treatment. So look out, mister, don't you blow your last resistor for a pistol that'll mystify ya. You're blinded by romance, you're blinded by science. Your condition is... 
Well, I mean, if you think, uh, actually, you must go along and see that film because it is quite extraordinary. And as I say, the soundtrack, there's Little Black Dress, Shock Treatment and Denton, uh, one, of the, the tra one of the tracks off the, off the album, and they are quite sensational. All right. In a uh, column I write, I wrote that uh, Kiss was almost forgotten in this country. I have been really reprimanded over this. Here is the new album. It's about to be released, and there's the cover for you, right? No makeup at the moment, and I believe they've got a new image, so watch out for Kiss. They're not forgotten at all. Three great Australian albums out. The first is The Models, and it's The Models not like Cut Lunch at all. They recorded this album in England. They've been produced, and I think they've been given a lot of discipline, and I don't think it hurts The Models to have this sort of discipline in the recording studios. It's a far different album from the Cut Lunch EP or mini al album, whatever it was called, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Here it is, The Models with Local or General. I'll be interested to know, and incidentally, uh, the rest of Australia should switch on to this group because it only happened in Melbourne with Cut Lunch, all right? Watch out for that one. The Boys from Perth, another good album, uh, another debut album, actually. And uh, I, uh, I must say that Perth is really starting to come of age. I mean, like the Prefix, the Boys, and uh, it's starting to come up with some talent. So watch out for that, the Boys with their own album. All right, Duran Duran is uh, one of the most popular groups around. Okay, well, they've got their follow-up single, and here it is, Girls on Film. Have a look. I, um, when I first heard Planet Earth, I thought, well, they may be a one-hit wonder, and I have been so wrong with this group. And I must say, the Girls on Film, off the same album that everything else is off, is one of the great tracks. All right, Devo are about to tour here, and we can now give you the official tour date. <laughs> All right, February the 2nd, uh, they are appearing in Brisbane, February 4th and 5th in Sydney, February 8th and 9th in Melbourne, February 15th in Adelaide, February 17th in Perth, and tickets are on sale as from Saturday the 31st of October, so rush and go and get them now because they're going to be so huge. And I'm going over in December to see them live in LA, as with Rod Stewart, and wait till you hear the Rod Stewart album, I'm telling you something. But talking about albums, oh, actually, the group we had on, The Radiators, that's the, uh, actually, they're coming up with some rather imaginative things in this country now. That is actually a single cover, and I must uh, give it to them. So up for grabs on a, uh, on a cover like that and watch out for it in the shops. And this album is a classic. The Police Have Done It Again. Ghost in the Machine, it's titled, and there are some superb tracks on this. It's not the, the police that we generally know. Uh, it's going back into synthesised stuff, but this album, I'm telling you what, is one of the classics for this year. Watch out for it, The Police, with Classic in the Machine. All right. This, oh, before, before we go to uh, Ice House, that I prefer to call Flowers, watch out for Ian Jury. He's about to compare the show in around about November the 22nd. So the man's coming out finally at last. All right. This group has just arrived back from the UK and America. Uh, they were known as Flowers when they left. They come back as Ice House. And I must say that uh, England has done them good as well. It was very hard to follow up after their spectacular success with their album, Love in Motion is a classic. Here it is, Ice House with Love in Motion. <laughs>
Shaken Stevens will not be shaken off. This week he's at number 10. Swanee has moved house again. This week he's at number 9. Jonah Louie will pick Louise up at eight, so don't be late, because you don't know when you'll be out of the top ten. I'm gonna hold her and look at her and shout. You're the one I like, because we get it right. The London Philharmonic Orchestra have hooked up to number seven from last week's 11, making their classic single the only new entry this week. get let down a little each week. This time around, they're at number six. How tight can ELO hold on? This week, they're down two spots to number five. Alas, it looks like the Prince doesn't have quite enough charm to make number one this week. Adam and his ants remain at number four. That old bunch of upstarts, the Strolling Bones, have surprised everyone this year, especially Adam and the Ants. Start Me Up goes up from six to three. On you, Mick. After two weeks at number one, Billy has dropped to number two. Diana and old Lionel have made it to the top spot at last with their endless love. Isn't it touching? They tell me how much you care. Oh, yes. You will always be. Okay, that's the whole top ten with Gavin Wood. Now it's back to Sharon O'Neill with Molly. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Gavin. Oh. <laughs> Sharon, I've got to congratulate you. I, it's, it's the first time person to person I've ever congratulated you on the single. I think it's magnificent. I really Thank do. You very much. I've got to ask you, um, I said on a radio thing that you were singing better. Do you feel you're singing better now? I think I probably am. I just keep working at it all the time. Right. And I believe you still take singing lessons, which is unusual for someone that's a oh, established yeah. singer. Oh, yeah. Now and then. Yeah? Keeps me in form. Well, that's very good. Now, tell us about, you're off to Japan. Yes. Um, yes, what do you want? <laughs> Obviously, this guy wants to be seen on camera. <laughs> <laughs> you all want to be 
seen on camera swing the camera around. Sorry, Sharon. Sharon. It's quite all right. All right. You're off to Japan to the song festival. Yes. Shh, everyone. Shh. It's a song you've written yourself. Yeah, it's called right. Tea in China. Now, hold on. How many applicants were there for this song festival? About 2,000. And they right. eliminated it down to about 22 countries. And you were one, what, of 21? Um, one of 22. 23. 22. 22. Oh, you're in the right middle. Yes. Right, OK. Uh, well, best of luck with that. Thanks Are you just going to Japan? Anywhere else? No, just 10 days in Japan. OK. And the album? Tell us about the album. Well, the album is out now. Right. It's called Maybe. All right. And we've got our fingers crossed. Well, you've got some fine tracks to compete against. In fact, I, I, I raved about the David Bowie. Have you heard the David Bowie Queen track yet? No, I haven't. Well, that's out tomorrow, everyone. And it's a classic in itself as well, right? So watch out for, uh, for Sharon and David and Queen. There you go. Do yourself a favour. Right. Now, you've been a great Sydney audience. And to 2SM, before we go off with, the, uh, with, with this record, point taken 2SM.
Don't we go drag? 